Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. Today we're off to the German show. However, as usual, we're meeting here in the YouTube car park. We've got a few nice cars here, so we thought we'd do a bit of a lap here before we get to the German show. So uh, let's probably just take a look around here. So here we go. We're in YouTube Square car park. We've got a few cars down here today. There are a few that we haven't seen before, so we are gonna take a look at those. For now, we're gonna ignore the Lotus. Friend has brought that down today as they're doing a bit of a drive um, to wear it in. Um, they're uh, parked up their Porsche today, but we'll leave the Lotus alone today. But we've got a few here. As usual, our 356 has got a coffee cup on the top of it. We've had this on the channel before, so we might do a bit of a Targa tour. SC. This one's the turbo, and then over here we've got a 993 Targa, which is very nice as well. First time I've seen this, owner's had it for nine months. Lovely, lovely Targa. Obviously, uh, Tiptronic, um, but great car. Inside the Targa, it does have one of the Porsche headsets, which we are keen to get. There's the Targa roof. I didn't really like that. So, a couple of Targas here with us today. And here we go as well 928 in. It's not forest green. It looks like it, but it's not forest green. We'll go take a closer look at this car, because this, love the colour and the light this morning. Might have a bit of dew on it as well, so it kind of glistens a little bit more. Lovely. There's the headers. Scorpion look on top with a Porsche badging on it. Look on the interior. Oh, look at that. Brown and green is lovely. Oh, for the show today, he's got all the paperwork with it, the manuals. There you go, look, even the magazine. Porsche cap, it's actually really nice. Oh, I didn't notice that either. That kind of off green, yellow there. Love it. Let's see if we can get a side profile. It's all open up. Maybe you got the benefit that of the, is the very, height. very nice. We're going to head off shortly. Um, need to leave here by half past seven to make sure that we get to the show and get checked in on time. But if this is anything to go by, we're going to have a cracking day out. So here we go, we're at pre registration. We are number 81. We're trying to line the 356s up, and we are the first one here. So like we said, we're at pre-registration. There's a few very nice cars here. However, Jed's over there in his 356. Uh, there's a split window Beetle over there somewhere. And then there's an AMG Black Series over there. It's, I think that's its launch color as well. So we might see if we can get a closer look at those. So here we go, we've passed this on the way up here. AMG Pro, however, in a good German show, we've got a split beetle behind it. Look at this thing. I'm gonna take a look around this. This is gorgeous. So that is a 1948. I think either they drove it from the peninsula today or from Geelong way, because we have got planned to get this on the channel. What a cracker that is. So here we go, we made it here, we're at Sandown. We're um, in one of the paddocks here, so we're gonna take a look at the cars. Each of them is in their own section. I think we're gonna have a look at the Volkswagens first, but a um, bit of a cloudy day, so that's nice, and hopefully I'm not gonna get sunburnt. Found the splitty in the car park. That looks like the original motor. Look at that thing. Adrian's here in his Beetle. We've yeah. had that on the channel before. That splitty is gorgeous. I think we got some shots of it inside earlier. But look at that. Look. A lovely interior. Wow. Lovely car. Always great to see another bare metal creation. So, oval window. A narrow beam slammed to the ground. I don't know if this is actually airbagged. I suspect it is. 
it's clear coated it actually feels like it might have a wax on it instead of being clear coated because in the sun you can kind of feel that the um, wax is a little bit tacky so here's an old 1952 Mercedes I've just been chatting with the owner so actually restored this from just a pile of pieces took them four years to do it last of the Mercedes that was six volt and a wooden chassis as well dual cab bay window love the color on it and the canopy at the back there sat around they're gonna have a lovely day sat there perfect place to sit a 23 window here it is for sale nice color a little bit of patina but not too much that's a really nice bus here we go we've got a beetle here oval been modified electronic ignition it actually has a rear oval safari on it there here's the front of it got a safari window very much like our bread van have to be a little bit careful driving around in these as they are a bit heavy it has had the quarter window delete as well I think there's been a lot of hours put into this it does look great though, but a lot of hours I think. So there's a great selection here today. Boxer are coming by. We've seen a couple of these regulars on the channel. I haven't seen this 911S before, but that's particularly nice. I haven't seen this before, so this um, looks like it's part of a business or a brand spirit of racing. Uh, we might put a link in the description below for them look at the livery on that the cream or off-white of the car and then those three stripes look brilliant on it looks like it hits the track a fair bit it's got 44 all over it so I got a 964 turbo here in black lovely interior inside however here we go who says you can't carry anything or do anything with a Porsche so a 68 Targa it's not that we specifically know that this is 68 however the number plate is a clear indication of what year the car is do have a bit of a soft spot for a 912 being a flat 4 the interior looks nice and I've got to say the bodywork on the outside um, it's brilliant considering it's black and it probably shows up every blemish it's got it's really nice so here we've got a 1974 RSR tarmac racing car um, does have a rally permit we see on the front there what's it got flame out down the side look at that there full racing spec interior Haltech on the dash look at this for an engine wowzers that is a piece of art we might see if we can leave a card on here as well because i think we'd like to get this one on the channel so we've got a pile of bmws up here but just before we take a look at those got a racing spec rally bmw we're probably going to have to get somebody to help us talk through the bmws because we've got no idea there are a few race cars down here today but that i'd imagine is a monster so we've got a few nice buses here again i do like this one with a patina and a burn on the roof that's a very nice bus there and then this one here we have seen a few more turn up so that's nice to see the Volkswagen guys have had a good turnout today so what we did forget to mention about this Pan America 356 is that it is actually the real deal so cut off has a fuel cell actually has all the fire system all mounted in it so you pull that it goes off throughout the car it's got one of those inside as well so um, it is 
all set up for racing and although it looks the real deal it actually is the real deal so there we go a Jägermeister 916 it's got a modified interior a little bit shifter has got flat six inside there there's the rest of the livery don't really get a lot of breathing space for the fan right back there you can see that there is the 911 engine crammed into the 914 body livery does look great so a couple of beetles here in very similar colors so custom beetle there with the um, safari window sticking out great camber on the rear but this one is a ute and as with these normally it's got an upright calling fan kit on it because getting that tray and then the um, space in the bag is a bit hard work but yeah it's not a bad looking thing there so we've got some of the BMWs here 3.0 CSL there is probably our favourite BMW here today is a little bit further down there shark nose on these <laughs> jeez that was nice of this here look at these the interior is lovely as well like that velour Got the colour on this one. It's a shame they're all parked so closely together because that colour on that one is lovely. A few of the cars have left now because uh, it is getting really hot here now in the afternoon but it has given us a chance to kind of look at this car a little bit more. I really do like it. Yeah. Always been a big fan of the skirts on the side of the Beetle those look like they've actually been welded on and they're not clipped on so that's uh, a little bit different so this little 356 has got badges galore on it i don't know if that stops it breathing a little bit but there are a lot of badges there so I think that's all from us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. The German show has been absolutely brilliant. However, absolutely scorching. We're hoping we're gonna be able to get back in the 356 okay, because it is a hot, hot day today. Uh, please drop the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.